Hey guys, all right, I am so giddy. I'm excited. So I'm here at the Frist Museum. I have been looking forward to this exhibit for a while. And we were supposed to be out of town and because of just some multiple different things, we're not out of town and so I get to be here for this. I'm actually really looking forward to the, um, oh, my hair is a little big and I just whacked it. To the gift shop. I have a feeling they're going to have a lot of really fun things. I'm hoping to be able to take you guys in here. I mean, we can take photos or we usually can. So hopefully I can sneak in some, some um, video. And did I even mention which one it is? It's the Hungry Caterpillar, Eric Carl. So it's going to be amazing. And I'm also looking forward to the kids area. They have a great kids area here. They have film. They're going to have some great stuff in there. And I'm totally going in there unless they kick me out, but, um, it should be fun. They're probably gonna have some collage stuff and I don't know. It's just gonna be fun. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna use the bathroom, get a spot in line, and I'll see you guys in there. Okay, bye. All right, guys, I'm here at the museum. Um, let me see if I can get this in. It looks like a big bus. Literally just got here. It is such a beautiful sunny day. I have a feeling a ton of kids are about to just pour out of this bus, or a bunch of somebody's are. So um, I'm gonna get in here, get in line, and use the bathroom. They have the best bathroom here. It's like really, um, it takes me back to like school days, but like a really nice fancy school. Okay, the guards up here, I gotta get my stuff out and get in, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, this was such a highlight for me of the whole gallery. Um, these are what he called dummy books where he would mock up, make like a little book. And I just feel like for kids, this has to be so inspiring. It was so inspiring for me. I loved each one of these and was just dying to be able to like flip through them. I loved this horse. I mean, how cute. And some of these actually turned into real books for him. This was another favorite of mine. This felt mind-blowing. I loved how he did this huge collage of the zoo. It just was magical. It was so fun, and I just loved every part of it. All right, guys, I'm done with the Frist Museum Eric Carl exhibit. It was really, really good. It was a lot of fun. I went through the whole thing a little faster than what I thought I would. I think I'm hungry. They also had this Native American thing that was really good. Um, I stood and sketched for a little while. I love the kids area. I sat down and sketched for a little while on that too. And uh, yeah, it is a gorgeous fall day here in Nashville. I mean, it is glorious. Glorious, glorious. Yes, I'm thinking about running over to Plaza Art Supplies. It's really close to here. I do feel tired and I'm starving. So, art supplies may wait, but I never come to this one because I'm not close, so maybe I should just press in and do it. I'm gonna jump in the car, I'm gonna go eat a snack and go to the art supply. All right. I wanna show y'all this too. I'm trying not to talk that too loud here, but look. They did the balls like Eric Carl, Carl stuff. Isn't that fun? I'm wondering if they usually do that. Okay guys, I'm here at Plaza. I decided to just press in. Hungry, tired, we're gonna do it. We need to do the art supply. I've got a couple things I was gonna order, and so I wanna see if my local art store has them, even if it's a little more expensive. I like to, you know, support my local places. And I just pulled it in the parking lot. I've never been here when it was this park, so there's probably like a class or something going on. But look, love um, this. That stuff was pretty neat. Looks like it may be packed around and it's a pretty big store. Yay for our 
different stores. Ooh. Okay, guys, uh, that was fun. I was looking for this one pin that I've mentioned before in my videos. I know y'all are so probably tired of it. And they didn't have them at this art store, but I did find something fun. This is gonna be like the quickest art store haul in history. But I couldn't resist. This was so cute. Okay, ready? Whoa. Okay, it's just, it's this bag. Let's see if I can open it. It's just got a little zipper, and I thought it was super cute. I love the colors and just the simple artwork, and I love cats. I wish I could paint cats a little better. I probably should practice at them because I think they're really fun, but my cats always look really weird. There's something that I'm proportionately off, but I got that bag to, I thought it'd be nice to have something that big to put my sketchbook in when I'm traveling and I can throw a couple pens or pencils in there and it just will add one more layer of protection and keep everything all nice and tidy for $10. It was a great buy and I love it and I'll use it a lot. Ooh, it's getting warm in this car. Okay guys, I am starving Marvin. Grady's heading home. I'm heading home and it was just a really fun day. I love days like this where I get to do art stuff. I am terrible about getting out and about to do art stuff. I just, if I have some time to do art, I want to be in the studio. All right, I will see you guys back in the studio at some point. Okay guys, look at this fun. In 100 yards, leave the traffic circle at the first here exit. in the middle, all these things sticking up out of the ground. Now turn right. I'm risking my life to show you all this. I hate these whoop arounds and, oh no, there's cops. I'm gonna get in trouble for holding a, see, look, look how fun. Woo look fast cause I gotta drive. I wish I had taken this before we ate, but we got a lavender. And a lavender blueberry. Oh, lavender blueberry and pumpkin. What did you just eat? Pumpkin. Which one was it? Okay. Is that one really good? It was good. It was mild. It wasn't um, super strong. Okay. Tell us what the lavender blueberry tastes like. More flavor. Which one's better? Blueberry. I don't care. Mm. I agree with Grady. It's mild. I think I normally like a regular donut texture better, don't I? Yeah. Okay. There's more of a regular donut. Look at that pretty purple. We are here at the art store. Grady's quite excited. Negative. We're gonna go work off donuts. Yay! The art store is conveniently literally across the street from the donut place. I should have stayed there. Anything? <laughs> anything you're gonna be looking for at the art store, Grady? The exit. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Working off the donuts at the art store. These are my favorite ones here. Okay, let's go see if they have any that. I've not been able to get in the studio all week and I've got just a little window this afternoon and yesterday I was trying to think of what I wanted to do if I did have a chance to get in here. Yesterday I was walking by our dining room which basically is like a spillover of the studio. I mean the whole house is a spillover of the studio. There was an old old painting. Let's see if there's a date on this. Oh well it's not too crazy old. 2018. I wonder if I can put this heavy camera down someplace. 
where am I to? So I was walking by the dining room, and which does look like the studio. When people come over, they're always like, oh, is, and they go in there first, they're like, is this your studio? And I'm like, no, it's the dining room. So I was walking by, I saw this old painting. I think it's one that I probably didn't really even like. It was just on a scratch piece of canvas board. And I, here, let me sit you down and I'll show you. But it caught my eye. There was something about it that I liked. I think I like the composition, this long, narrow piece. So I've got my little, my reference here. I've got my gouache here. And a tea, tiny watercolor palette that I set up probably like a year ago and never used because I don't paint watercolors anymore. And then I'm wondering if you're going to be able to see this. I did loose aroma sketch. I mean, fast. I wanted to just whack it on there. You may not be able to see it. I'm going to just go paint now and I can't wait. Guys, I'm going to look back at this video and be like, what? Did you look in the mirror and I didn't? This is like one of those I'm going to be really embarrassed about, but we're just going to film on. I hope you feel the love because I'm bringing you in on my very short amount of time that I have to paint and I look like I crawled out of a ditch. Okay guys, I just slapped a background on and using this very large brush, you can see how messy. I mean, I, I don't mind my little palette areas getting messy and the paint's getting mucky. And then I decided I didn't want this lady here. So I just painted over her, but the outline is still there. I can still see it if I want to slop her in at some point. Sorry, I'm not taking time to set up the camera for you to um, watch me paint. I've got to get a better setup. I think I'm gonna um, be getting some birthday money that I'm going to spend on a really good um, setup that I can do overhead. It's just, if y'all saw the way I contraption it when I do that, it is just ridiculous. Maybe that'll be coming soon. For now, I'm gonna get painting and I'll show you, you know, as I go along. <laughs> and in other big colors and many other portrait prizes. And you always work from life, have you, as you've said. Is it usually your friends that you yeah, use? my friends. Occasionally I've had commissions to paint many people's children. I've never really done those big, um, I've tried painting seven years or so. <laughs> and our relationship is almost, although we exchange emails mm -hmm. and things in between times, our relationship is kind of based on this portraiture thing we've had going. He's sitting, so would you be sitting quite close to him? Yeah, about. It varies, but usually about a metre and a half away. Most of my projects I do in the sitter's house, so I go and visit them. Like in the recent case, my gear in the shopping trolley down to his house. Late morning's good, just the lights kind of steady, maybe 10 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and I look at, I might get someone to sit in various chairs, but it's really important to me that they're comfortable. Sometimes I just, we'll just have a cup of tea. I am done. Here's what I ended up doing. It is still drying a little right now too. I'm really happy with it. You know, I've been in here painting for like 15, 20 minutes. My favorite parts are things like this lady's disproportionate little tiny head and her big fat arm and her chunky legs. I did this lady's hair and her dress. I'm just leaving her as a white woman. <laughs> I liked how that turned out, and I think I'm gonna do another one as soon as this dries. Whoops, I just stuck my finger in the paint. I'm gonna do one last one back here, and then that's, that wraps up the sketchbook. So I'll be doing a sketchbook flip through soon for you guys. Okay guys, um, I hope you enjoyed getting out and about with me. I thought it would be appropriate to end the vlog being out and about with my man again. We're on another date, birthday day, Woo! my birthday to be exact. And I found, out, I found out today that I am 45. Not yet. Well wait, yeah, I'm 40. You oh, will that's be. right. My birthday's not. We're just out on the weekend for my dinner, but it's not till Tuesday. But anyways, I thought that I was turning 44 and I was talking today about how it would be easy to remember how old I am this year because I'm 44, but I'm turning 45, so there we go. Uh, we're about to go to a place called Folk here in Nashville. I'm really excited about it. Yay!
I'll see you back again real soon. See Bye. Ya. I'm gonna sneak y'all in. I hope I don't get in trouble. Sometimes I get in trouble by guards a lot in museums for some reason, and I'm not like a naughty person, but you know, I'm like trying to drink my water that I've stolen in. Not stolen, but brought in and stuff like that. Anyways, I gotta get to painting.